Hey guys, in this video, we're going to see how to uh, create a game using DeepSeek AI and run the game within Windows. So that's going to be like less than five minutes. I think we're going to do it. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. And um, this is going to be a beginning for you to write games and uh, you can even build apps, websites, a lot of these things you can do it. It's going to be pretty quick and pretty easy and it's going to be handy. You don't have to be an expert programmer to do it. You can be a beginner programmer. You can get started with these and learn programming on the way. You don't need to be an expert and then you can start using AI. It's going to be making things a lot easier for you. And DeepSeek is actually doing a pretty good job, I would say. Uh, it's It's got a pretty good performance and uh, I've been using it for some time. So it's going to be a pretty enjoyable journey. Okay. So let's get into it and welcome to Expertizer Academy. If you like this channel, uh, subscribe to it and share it with your friends. And this video has been sponsored by armorado.com. And um, so there is a cool watch. There is a lot of uh, goods and gadgets. If you're going to do traveling, trekking, adventure sport, a lot of these things, you can find a lot of goods in armorado.com. And this little smart watch, uh, smart ring, and uh, you can use this to mine cryptocurrencies. And this is still under research and we're working on it. And this comes under the Virtual Coin project, but partnering with Armorado. Uh, yeah, so just um, follow Armorado or Virtual Coin. You will get an announcement for some free giveaways as well for these rings and you're going to enjoy it. Okay, let's get started. So to do this, uh, you know, I'm running it using a Windows machine. So you guys can actually uh, use Macintosh, Linux, doesn't matter. As long as um, you use a relevant uh, uh, terminal uh, in the, under that, it should all work fine. Okay. So first thing is like, um, you have to get Python installed. Uh, so it's a pretty thing. So pretty easy. You just have to go to python.org and then click on download. You can download Python and then you have to run the uh, installer and that will install Python. And once you install Python, you just have to make sure that it is working. So I'm going to type in CMD and right click and make sure that you always run as an administrator. And now all you have to do is just type in Python. And that is going to give you the version. So now it is already inside Python and um, we can type in, um, uh, we can try command. So print. expertizer and that's going to print it back so that basically ensures that your python is running smoothly and you don't have any issues so that concludes that you have installed your python and the next one is you have to install pip uh, so pip basically um, installs a lot of uh, python packages for you it is going to be a pretty handy one so there is an installation instruction that you can find it you can follow this through and you can install pip it's not going to be super hard all you have to do is just download pip for an example if i go back up here i can type in pip and um, so you can read about the project and you can download the files so you can get the files from these ones and it shows you what version it is so first make sure that you get the check the version of uh, python that you're running and then you get the relevant version of it and um, so once it's done to install it all you have to do is uh, just put the package into a folder and then you have to run the command for installation so you can get the installation instructions from here so the installation instructions for pip is going to be here installation so it might also give you an upgrade option as well if you already have pip installed and that you will see it on the prompt and uh, so that is for windows so all you have to do is just go and um, that's basically the file so pip file you just have to put the file into a folder and then go into the location and try the command it will install it so nothing too complex and once you install it you just have to run this command py slash m slash pip version and that gives you the version of pip that you have and if you don't have the latest version the next command that you're going to try it's going to show you that it's not the latest version do you want to upgrade it and you will see this and once you see this you can run the uh, command to upgrade it and it's going to upgrade latest version and then it's going to install it so now once that is done once you installed pip and the latest version has been updated and all next you go to pi games uh, we're going to use pi games for this one because the code that we're going to generate we're going to get it as a python game and almost all the python games use pi games so and then downloads 
and there's your packages you can download these packages put into a folder and then all you have to do is just do the same thing as what you did before for installation so for this one um, so we just upgraded the pip and then we installed uh, pygames so that's basically the command once the pip is installed and upgraded you just have to run the command pip install pygame and once that is done if it's already installed it's going to say it's all the requirement has already been satisfied that means pygame is already installed um, if not it's going to install for you okay so now that's all done so next thing what you have to do is uh, let's go to deep CKI and um, so we can say like okay for an example uh, we wanted to build a game so now what game that we built uh, right now is a ping pong game so the prompt is going to be um, build me a python based ping pong game so now once you've done that it's going to do some thinking so let it think and let us come up let it come with um, the code so here is it so it basically shows you the steps of how to do it as well so it shows you that you have to install um, pip on your machine and then that's basically the code that is writing for the game so let it do it the coolest thing is like uh, with um, with DeepSeek, you know you're gonna get a preview as well so if you're building some little websites and stuff it actually gives you the option to preview the HTMLs and stuff so it's pretty cool let it run let it finish you can do a lot of little games you know if you got um, let's say a game like pac-man or um, if you want to build a game like tetris or something like that you can build any of those games so it shows you the steps of how to run the game and even how to play the game and also it gives you the features as well okay so now that is all being done so what it says is basically this is the code so we can copy the code and we just have to go to the folder I'm gonna create a folder and uh, I already have one so I'm just gonna create another one and first let's copy the file name maybe we just use this one edit okay so now this is an old one so let's copy this code okay so that's been done hit save that's been saved so now how to run the game so we have saved the py file we have to open the terminal make sure that you open with admin rights and then we have to go to the location and then we have to run the game okay so to do that uh, so we are in the right folder so if you're not in the right folder you can use uh, let's say if it's like that you have to first go to the drive so let's say if it is in C drive we have to go to the drive that's the X drive and then we have to go to the location and uh, that's basically the location that we want to go edit copy uh, we have to copy with the drive letter so let me copy the path from here okay so we are there and um, now all we have to do is just run the command to play the game so it's gonna be py dot ping pong dot py so py is for python command so let's run this one and now we have the controls okay oh. <laughs> it's hard to play as both both sides okay <laughs> okay so that's basically it guys so it's a pretty simple game and it also attacks the scores as well and um, as i said like it's a pretty cool thing to do work and uh, you can do a lot more stuff with this um, 
AI tools these days. So this is a one tutorial we're starting off with and we're going to do uh, more tutorials on hands-on LLMs as well. Uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel and uh, we'll catch up again in another video guys. And thank you so much for all the love. Cheers.